Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today what I'm going to be reviewing and doing a first impressions on is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. So I was lucky enough to actually get this product sent to me for free for testing and reviewing purposes by Influencer. So mainly what that means is on the app Influencer, what you do is you review a bunch of makeup products or any other kind of products that they have on there. And the more active you are on the app, you're more likely to get sent a survey about whatever particular product that they may be asking you about. So for me, it was the foundation. So I got sent a huge list of swatches and I had to pick what color matched with me the most and the one that I picked was golden nude um, so we'll see how how well it matches not really sure I just did a quick little test when I got it a couple days ago but I just mainly like ran it along my jawline and just kind of dabbed it in really quick and it seemed to do okay but just doing the jawline versus doing your whole entire face could be a completely different story. So I'm excited to try this out, but I'm a little bit nervous because I really, really hope that it will match. So we'll find out. Let's get to the unboxing. This is the packaging that the foundation came in. And if you look on the sides, both sides say bare minerals and the back says influencer. And when you open it up, what was included was the foundation that I picked out. Mine is number 13, Golden Nude. So we'll see how well it matches with my skin. And then there's also a little postcard that just tells you a little bit about the product. And then on the inside, the top part just says the name of the product, some tissue paper, and some of the foundation swatches. This foundation retails for $34, so that's why I'm super grateful that I got this chance to get this product sent for free and test it out because normally when it comes to me buying my own foundations, I normally stick to drugstore brands and I normally spend about $9 to $12 for a foundation so I'm excited that I got a little bit more of a higher end foundation because I normally stick with what I can really afford or what I really choose to spend my money on so so I'm excited to give this a try on the carton it promises a flawless medium to full coverage that lasts all day a creamy blendable texture for luxurious comfort Stay True Mineral Pigments designed for all skin tones and it's oil-free, hypoallergenic, and dermatologist tested. And also what is also mentioned on the packaging as well as the box, um, it mentions that it also has SPF 20, which I think is really, really nice because that'll just continue to help give that nice protection for your skin. All right, so we are going to take this out of the packaging. And when you take it out, this is what it looks like. And when you take off the lid, there's the nozzle. And it also has a little arrow at the top. So you just twist it to the side and then it will actually give off product. And then when you're done, just turn it the other way and it literally locks it into place, which I think is really cool. This is the swatch. So it's still, it's still looking a little bright, but we'll see how it blends out. Um, I have another foundation that's kind of similar to this color, but um, the only difference with that one is that there's a bit more of an orange hue in it, and so that kind of makes it too dark for me. So, I don't know, we'll see. This might actually end up working a lot better than I expect. I am going to go ahead and prep my face. So first I'm gonna go in with the Garnier Micellar 
cleansing water and this one is the mattifying one since I have really oily skin. I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. And finally, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. My eyes and brows are done and I put a little bit of dark circle cream right there so now we are ready to get into the foundation so i mainly apply my foundation with a beauty blender so that's what i'm going to use for today um so i am going to go in with just a little bit just because i don't know how much is going to come up on my face so i usually just kind of Put a little bit in each spot and I go in. Um, it actually does seem like this tiny, tiny, tiny bit of coverage is going a long way. I will go in with some more because obviously I don't feel like that was enough, but that was like a really nice start. So probably just about the same amount that I did last time. So not too much. Um, let's do here and here. Mm. Tiny bit down there since I didn't get those. Okay, so there's a lot right on my forehead. So we'll see if I can... We'll see if I can spread that around a bit. Oh, I'm so nervous that this is going to turn up really, really ghostly on me. Um, if it does, I will probably just throw some tinted moisturizer over it. Um, I normally use the, the NYX tinted moisturizer and you can totally tell when you put them side by side. Um, that they're a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker than the foundation that I have, um, but that's okay. Um, so what I'm noticing right now, it looks really, really um, patchy on my forehead. Um, and I'm really trying to blend it in, but I'm also wondering if it's just the um, the shade that I got too so I'm not sure we'll see how that turns out once I'm like completely done with my makeup so I'm trying to blend up to my hairline so I don't look super pale on my forehead and then tan by where my hair is so just trying to make sure it all gets blended out really nicely so it blends really easily and I really didn't use a lot of product so that's one nice thing about this foundation is that a little bit really went a long way and if this is $34 and if that's how it's going to blend out then I would say that that's well worth the money but we'll we'll keep going and we'll see how it does. Here is what it looks like with the foundation applied. So I went in with two small little dabs, like it, they weren't even like dime size dabs, they were super, super small. 
Um, so, I mean, it, I want to say that it doesn't look like it's looking too ghostly on me. It actually seems to blend really nicely. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really seeing any problems with the color. Um, I might go in a little bit with tinted moisturizer, like right up here, just to make sure that like if I'm, if I happen to take any pictures or throughout the day, it doesn't look like super, super white right here. Um, so I will go in with some tinted moisturizer there and maybe next time when I apply it, I probably won't put as much as I did on the forehead area. So let me just go ahead and take care of that and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, so I went in a little bit with the tinted moisturizer and I just put just a little bit around my hairline to just kind of fix any, I don't know, any patchiness that might show up with the foundation. Um, so all in all, I am going to keep going and I'm going to add some bronzer, just finish off my face, but all in all with the foundation, I really do like it and I think the color is a pretty nice match for me and I'm not too worried about the color just because during the summertime, I really don't wear foundation hardly at all unless I'm going to like a special event or something if it's just like everyday makeup I'm most likely gonna go in with tinted moisturizer just because it's super lightweight and it just gives me a little bit of a nice color nice finish to my face so I'm really not worried about the color of the foundation I, I feel like it blended really nicely it's not showing me any crazy um, difference in color along my jawline um, not too much right here on the hairline but I'm gonna keep a, a watch for that um, but as far as first impressions goes I really really do like this product and I think that this foundation would look really really nice when it comes to winter time because fall and winter that is when I'm mainly wearing foundation so I feel like it would hold up pretty well and I feel like it won't the color won't look too crazy just because I need some kind of coverage on my face so I say for first impressions I think it's pretty good um, for the $34 again like I said I would go out and buy this just because with how little I put on and how much it covered on my face um, this is gonna last you quite some time um, and also what I was looking at on the box it says that it has one fluid ounce and really it's the same as I used to use the infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal and these two have the same amount of product so if you use this kind it's the same you're getting the same as you would in this one but I would say that with this foundation you are it feels like you're technically getting more product just because I barely went in with not a lot of product and it and it covered my face with no problem this is my final look for today so I will be back in a couple of hours and I will give you my final thoughts on this foundation all right guys I am back it is almost six o'clock right now and this is how my foundation held up let me see if I can get in pretty close um, I haven't noticed any problems with it. Um, I did put my foundation on around 9 o'clock this morning, so I've been wearing it for about 9 hours now. And I've got to say that it's held up really, really nicely. It's been pretty sunny today, and even with that, um, especially like with my forehead and like my T-zone and stuff, um, the foundation hasn't felt super oily or sweaty or just 
nasty and it doesn't look shiny too which is really nice because anytime I'm using a foundation by the end of the day my t-zone area just looks super super shiny and I have to just keep using um, translucent powder to maintain that matte finish so I'm very impressed with that another thing I will say is the color like I mentioned earlier I was really really nervous earlier on in the video about whether the color would match and I've been keeping an eye on it today and it doesn't look weird on my skin it matches really nicely and I've taken a couple of pictures throughout the day too just to see how it would look and with flash and without flash and it didn't look weird there wasn't any weird flashback so um, for me the color works it might not be spot on to what my skin tone is but I'm not too worried about it um, like I said before I mainly wear foundation in the fall and in the winter time so by then I'm sure you know whatever summer tan I have is probably gonna fade by then so it's it's not a big big deal basically what I'm trying to say is that I really enjoy using this foundation um, would I normally buy it? I probably wouldn't, not because it's, I don't think it's a bad product, but I just think personally the $34 for it, to me, I find that expensive. That's a lot of money for a foundation. Um, so again, that's why I think that being able to try this foundation for free from Influencer, I'm really grateful for the opportunity because I get to try a, a product that I normally wouldn't get the chance to do, um, but it, it has opened me up to a new foundation to use now, so um, I like it a lot more than the other foundations that I've been using, so whenever it comes time to get a new one, I, I probably might shell out the money for it because if it covered my face this well and if it's lasted all day like it has then to me I think that's pretty much worth the money and for anyone out there that has oily skin I have oily skin as well and I found this to be a really nice foundation for my skin um, I didn't feel like I was super shiny and it held up really nicely and I just I really like the product so that is my video for today guys thank you so much for watching and for anybody out there that is wanting to try this product I hope you do get the chance to try it because I really enjoyed it and if you're on the fence I hope that maybe this video might have helped make sure to follow my blog looks by Liddy and also follow me on Twitter Instagram and I have a Facebook page for looks by Liddy. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening if you're watching this at night and thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!